Today on Talk Shop, we're going to be doing a basic lube oil and filter change on this Nissan Pathfinder. When you go in for an oil change, you're going to be definitely changing your oil, definitely changing your filter, and at the same time, you want your tires, tire pressure checked, tread depth of your tires is looked at, maybe a quick look at the exhaust, and make sure your front end is tight. Normally, guys will walk around the vehicle checking all these things while the oil is draining and while the filter is draining. Rad right now is just taking off the drain plug and it's going to obviously come out real fast because this oil is overdue. Most people change their oil every 5,000 kilometers or 6,000 km, depending on the vehicles. Some of them are 8,000. So check your manufacturer's specifications or recommendations. Check, check your manufacturer's recommendations for when the proper time is to do an oil change. There are all different types of uh, oil filters for vehicles. Make sure you get the right one for it. There are long ones, short ones, there are cheap ones, expensive ones, there are all kinds. I prefer to use something like a brand name. Uh, Fram, for instance, is a good one, but there are a lot of other ones out there. Raz is gonna give you an important tip here on what to do with that brand new oil filter, because a lot of times, a lot of guys don't do this, and you'll have some issues before and after the oil change. I'd like to make sure that the old gasket is still on the filter and not on the housing. Two gaskets will make it leak. We're gonna add a little bit of oil here on the new gasket. It gives it a good seal. Never tighten it with the wrench. Hand tight is good. And again, clean off all the excess oil. One of the questions I get about oil changes are, is mainly how often do I do them? Do I need to do them every three months or can I wait till my mileage is due? Oil breaks down no matter what. So if you go over three months, oil will break down, it'll absorb its moisture, it'll start to even burn out the tailpipe if you go too long. It can also, it can also mud up in the motor if you want to call it. If you let it go too long, it'll actually turn into a muck. One of the things brought up about oils is what oil do I put in my engine? Always go with what the manufacturer recommends. If they recommend 5W30, that's what you use. If they recommend 10W30, that's what you use. Don't go out of the limits unless it's recommended in the owner's manual. Synthetic oils are very, very good for vehicles with higher mileage. If you want to get more economy out of them, put in a synthetic and you will get better mileage. Another thing with synthetic is, the big myth is, can I go further on my oil change than I could with my conventional oil? The answer is really no. You still want to do your oil change at the same time. So if it's at 5,000 K, that's when you need to do the oil change. And the reason you need to do that is because the oil will still break down and your engine was not designed for a higher mileage oil. Now, one of the other things that Ryan is doing here now, whenever an oil change is done, tire pressures will be set, all four tires to whatever the manufacturer recommends. He will also be checking the front end to make sure that everything is tight. When the vehicle's up in the air and everything is hanging, you'll be able to see the coil springs, your struts, your ball joints, your tie rod ends, even your brakes. You can see some of them through the wheels without taking the wheels off on a lot of vehicles. When a vehicle's up in the air, it's better to do an oil change because you can check all these things. When you're on a drive-through, you can't really see that. One note we always do when we bring a car in for an oil change too, the guys will try and check all the lights on the vehicle when it comes in before they even get it up in the air. That's one thing you didn't see here but that's one thing they did do. They will look at the wiper blades and they'll check all the fluid levels. They'll check your power steering fluid level, transmission fluid level, if it's accessible, uh, radiator coolant level and strength if they can, if it's not too hot. And of course your fan belts and your hoses. Everything's visually checked on an oil change because it'd be, it'd be bad if we miss something and it could prevent you from you know, breaking down on the road. Now there's a good question here about oil. How much oil does my engine take this is a good one because I have people coming in sometimes and they're saying, I just had to add three liters of oil to my engine. What do you think's wrong? Well, I think they went too long between oil changes. That's one of them. They may have a problem or a leak, but if you got to put three liters of oil into your engine, most of them only take about four to four and a half liters of capacity anyways. So we do have a problem. What we normally do is we'll put the cap on, we'll start up the engine for about 10 seconds. And then of course, we'll shut it off, let it sit for a few seconds and then check the uh, level. While that's cooling down, Rad will check all the other levels. That's it, all done.